<laughs> Commander Turinin's designated madman. I was beginning to think you'd had an attack of common sense, but that would have spoiled everything. Now, this maze is tricky, so stay close. Since you've been appointed head of this mission, uh, you can have the honor of taking the lead. Don't worry about getting lost, just stay in front of me in case there's any traps ahead. After you. You lead, I'll follow. Watching the back of your head comforts me. It means you still got one. Oh, this place is messing with my sense of direction.
Yes, this is it. Hmm. I know it's around here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe this is it. Well, this is as far as I go, which is a lot farther than I intended. The gate to the underworld is just along there. I should let you know I'm going to down the road, you know, the weather, the monsters, all that. Good luck. I don't envy you. I have too much in my pack already. Again our paths cross. I would have thought you wiser than that. But yet you come on relentless, like the beating of an orcish war drum. But where has your courage led you, hound of Leaf Corius? I am told the bite of a spider causes unbearable agony. It's akin to fire flowing through every vein in your body. And just when you think you can endure it no longer, your muscles seize up, your struggles cease, and your body becomes a cage as the paralysis sets in. Once you are bitten, I suggest you close your eyes, or else you'll be able to do nothing but watch as the spider devours you. Consider this payment for all you have done for Lycorius and these elves. If I cannot see them impaled on spears before me, then I'll settle for your slow, agonizing death. Thank <laughs> you. 
no mana. Certain that Leif Corius's champion had been slain, the orc leader forged deep into the underworld. But his overconfidence would prove his undoing, for the champion yet lived and was closing fast upon his trail. So now someone else has brought trouble down here from the overworld. That's the last thing we need. Now I don't doubt that the orcs up there are savages, but we got troubles of our own. Ants. Millions of them. And now these are all ants that you find in the sugar bone you These ants are the size of houses, and they're chewing up Black Delve Reach and the people piece by piece. Do you know what it's like to be worried about losing your head every time you open a door? A mammoth ant could be right there, waiting for you, then snip. No more head. Being headless is not something this gnome wants to be, thank you very much. And if the ants weren't bad enough, something far worse lurks in the shadows. We have a new resident in Blackdell Reach. A vampire by the name of Lord Vanerost. He's got all of us gnomes looking over our shoulders. Look, I can't see anymore now. Come to my house later, we can talk safely there. <laughs> <laughs> 